healthcare is one of those areas where you always meet people at their worst. Nobody wants to be sick, nobody wants to be injured, everybody wants to be healthy. And so really what it amounts to is us recognizing their need, whether that's an emotional need or a physical need. I just feel like we have more compassionate nurses. We all love what we do, so we take pride in what we do, and we try to do the best that we can. We have amazing uh, people for our staff. It's, it's so exciting. So our transitional care facilities here are really nice. We've got fantastic staff. We actually have more staff than most of the places in the state per, per resident. We are part of Franklin County Medical Center, which means that we have a hospital emergency room right down the hall from us. We have doctors who visit us every day. We have nurses on staff 24 hours a day. And we have skilled, certified nursing assistants who take care of our residents. There's always something going on for the residents to do, people to talk to, activities to be involved in, and our residents love that. It keeps them active, it keeps them engaged, it keeps their minds active. We start out every service with a nurse going out to visit. The nurse talks to them and just, we have to get a background, we have to know these patients. You have to gain their trust first in order to do it. So, you know, it might be the first time, oh, well, let's just maybe wash up at the sink today and, and then sit and visit with them and get to know them. You know, after surgery, we go visit them, make sure that they're safe in their home, that their dressings are being taken care of um, for after surgery, wound care, or if it's just, anything that they're in the hospital for. We can help them with physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy. We have aides that go in and help them shower if that's part of the process that they need. First of all, a parent, you know, when a child is born and with disabilities, you, you don't know even what that means. Will they ever be potty trained? Will they ride a bike? Will, will they go to school? Will they have any friends? Like, what does their life look like, you know? And, and with our program, we can have social skills groups where they can come in and meet with peers, and we can actually can help them learn how to be a friend, how to play with a peer, and, and, just, and then help with the behaviors. Parents might step back and say, oh, he's got a disability, he can't vacuum the floor, but we can do things the children can do in their families that the parents might not ever think they can do. A small town like Preston, uh, to first of all have a DDA that we can provide services for this population, that's really, really awesome. One of the things that I love about our facility is that we're small enough that everybody has a one-on-one -on -one connection. We recognize, we know each of our residents by name and by face. They're not just a number to us, and we treat them like family. To provide these services in Preston, it's amazing because so many communities don't have this. The one thing I've learned with hospice is, you know, you may be helping a family member, but ultimately you're gaining a whole family of friends.